Okay, let's take a look at creating FS commands. Luckily, this is really super easy, so this will be a fairly short lesson. FS commands, as we mentioned, are two-part. So you can basically use the argument, if you like, or not. It's optional, but we're going to create them always the same way, and that's by typing in FS command, some brackets, and a semicolon. And then this will contain either a name or a name and an argument. You could also leave the name empty if you wanted to just have the argument too, but in that case you would actually include it, but you would just put in some empty quotations like that. Okay, another way you can create an FS command uh, is to go to your your index thing along the side here in your actions palette, for example, and open that up and zoom down here to where it says FS command, and then go ahead and click on that, double click on that and it'll create the FS command for you and then you can just go ahead and type in whatever you'd like for example name argument so that's how you create FS commands it's very simple stuff now let's take a look at where you have to put FS commands FS commands have to occur on some type of an event in flash so if you go into your flash help file and under the index tab here select events defined you'll notice that they have a, a list of stuff here and along that there's this uh, paragraph here. It says, events are actions that occur while a movie is playing. For example, different events are generated when a movie clip loads, the playhead enters a frame, the user clicks a button or a movie clip, or the user types at the keyboard. So these are different ways that you can trigger FS commands. You could trigger an FS command when someone types a key, or when they click a button, or when a certain frame is entered, and so forth. So there's some flexible options, but you have to make sure to put your FS commands on an event. If you put them somewhere where no event occurs, of course, they'll never get a chance to be triggered. So you want to be able to trigger this FS command somehow. So for example, here I could click right in the timeline on a frame, on an empty frame, and go ahead and type in here FS command, and then say exit, for example, and that'll work. Or I can go ahead and put it on a button, like we did in the first um, movie, where I actually put it inside a event handler on release okay you could also trigger it programmatically using an event handler or a whole bunch of different ways but basically you have to put your FS commands in some type of an event typically you're going to be putting it on a button such as we did in the last lesson like this with on release FS command or you'll be putting it in a frame and that's a, a general way of doing it we'll go ahead and, and look at some examples over the next few lessons at any rate but the point is, and we'll just review this to finish off this lesson, to create an FS command, what you do is in Macromedia Flash, in your Actions Editor, on some type of an event, type FS command, two brackets, and then in the brackets, you type your name, and optionally, your argument. If you'd like, you can contain an empty name and just pass the argument data, but you have to put empty quotation marks. Okay, so that's how you create FS commands. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson.